Hey everyone, Lizzie Marie here with the Sparrow's Nest and welcome to my channel, Simple Living with DIY Projects and Delicious Dishes. So today I'm going to take a thrift store little bookshelf and I'm going to refinish it. I picked this piece up at Habitat Restore and this piece was really dirty when I first got it. I had to clean it all out, I had all these spider webs and spider baby nest things. Oh my gosh, it's creepy. <laughs> I wish I would filmed me cleaning it. It would have been pretty hilarious for you guys because I was kind of freaking out like cleaning it with like a really long stick. But anyways, I totally forgot to do that. So anyways, it's cleaned up now. And this is just, um, I was testing to see what color I want to paint this. I decided to go with this color, which is like a really, really light gray. And even though I cleaned this up pretty well, it did kind of have a smell that I wasn't too thrilled about. So what I did, so here's a tip if like you pick something up at a thrift store and it doesn't exactly have a great smell, is I take some oils, I took some lavender, and I took some get the cap off this <laughs> orange and I like put put it on a rag you have to use quite a bit and then I just like wipe it down and I already did this whole shelf and it smells really good it smells nice and citrusy and the smell that it had originally it was totally gone and it smells great um, I would recommend testing first because on some wood it would stain uh, the oil would leave a stain on here but I wasn't too worried because I'm going to paint over it so even if it did stain not a big deal but make sure you test out your oil if you're using essential oil on a piece of wood project to make sure it doesn't stain um, before you put it on to get rid of the smell so I'm going to show you how to refinish a bookshelf from a thrift store from start to finish so my first step is to paint it with chalk paint. I am going to use my homemade chalk paint recipe. Now I have a video on how to make homemade chalk paint recipe, so you can check it out in the description box below. And what's so great about chalk paint is you don't have to worry about sanding. So basically chalk paint takes the step of sanding out of the picture. As you can see, this will need another layer because there's a lot of brush marks and usually chalk paint does need two layers. I'm going to sand the areas that I want to sand first just because if I apply another layer then I'm just going to have to do more sanding so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to lightly sand like the areas that I want to be distressed. And then I'm going to go in and paint the areas that I don't want to be distressed. I'm taking my sanding sponge. You can just get these at Home Depot. And I'm going to knock off, I'm going to knock off the edges here. guys so I have finished sanding lightly distressing it so it has a nice little kind of rustic look and I painted the insides because I want them a little more solid so I put another coat of paint on the inside and now I am going to seal it so I'm going to seal this with polycrylic protective finish now you can either use some people use um, like furniture wax I don't use furniture wax anymore I used to when I first started 
And the reason is because with furniture wax, you have to reapply it like several times and also it doesn't protect as well as polycrylic. So I'm gonna use this polycrylic clear mat and I'm gonna put probably two layers of this. So once this is dry, you wanna put one layer of this and then uh, I think the instructions say you wait about two hours and then you can put another layer. So I always put two layers and it will seal in the chalk paint and it's gonna protect it really well. All right, so I'm gonna just shake it, shake it, shake it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos.